Carboniferous period took place in the Paleozoic era. The Mississippian sub-period took place from 358.9 million years ago to 323.2 million years ago. The Pennsylvanian sub-period took place from 323.2 million years ago to 298.9 million years ago. Together, these two sub-periods make up a major period known as the Carboniferous. During the Carboniferous, there was a major increase in oxygen in the atmosphere. This allowed for megafauna and megaflora to evolve. The temperatures were extremely high and many forests grew worldwide. It was also very rainy and humid. During the Mississippian subperiod, the land masses of Euro America and Gondwana were separated by the Tethy Sea. During the Pennsylvanian subperiod, Gondwana and Euro America began to collide, changing the climate from very warm and swampy to more moderate temperatures. The Mississippian subperiod had a higher sea level. The Pennsylvanian subperiod had a lower sea level due to the land masses colliding. The period is known as the Carboniferous because the immense amounts of coal formed from the plants. With an increased amount of oxygen and lighter atmosphere, bugs and arachnids were able to grow to extreme sizes. Arthropleura, the largest millipede ever to live, growing up to the length of 8 feet. Meganeura, a large dragonfly with, with a wingspan of 2.5 feet. Pomonoscorpus, a giant scorpion growing over 2 feet long. The first amphibians and reptiles also developed in this time period. Ophiocodon, although not a lizard, Ophiocodon was one of the first major predators growing up to 8 feet long. Petrolacosaurus, one of the first reptiles to lay amniotic eggs, meaning that their eggs have a dry shell instead of needing to be laid in water to survive. Several marine species developed as well as including the first sharks. Famous examples are Edestus and Falcatus. The first plants with seeds developed in this time. Trees and plants could grow extremely large. Some club moss plants could grow over 100 feet. Land vertebrates first developed in the Devonian, but by the Carboniferous, they had a firm grasp on living above water. Most animals in the Devonian remained aquatic as well. The Devonian was dry and arid. The land couldn't support many vertebrates, but plants could develop. At the end of the Devonian, glaciation occurred and lowered the sea level. With many plant species dying, there was an increase in carbon dioxide, which allowed for the megaflora to develop in the Carboniferous. The Carboniferous is mainly split in two by the Mississippian and the Pennsylvanian subperiods. Within each subperiod are several stages. Ternasian, Vissian, Serpicovian, Bashkurian, Muscovian, Casimovian, and Gazellian. There are immense deposits of coal from the period in Europe, Asia, and North America. Much of modern coal is made of the plants from this period. There is a difference between the limestone Mississippian sub-period and the gathering of coal deposits from the Pennsylvanian. This indicates that coal began to form later in this period. The Appalachian Mountains, Ural Mountains, and Hercynian Mountains form from the land masses collided. Many fossils were found worldwide dating from this period. Some plants did not decay and formed fossils as well as fossilized peat. Fossils are found in Europe in the marine beds of North America mainly. The Mississippian subperiod and Pennsylvanian subperiod are mainly distinguished by their coal deposits. 
The Mississippian ended once the Tethys Sea was beginning to disappear, and the land masses came closer together. The Pennsylvanian ended after the land masses collided. Upon collision, they formed several mountain ranges and killed many marine species. Over the course of time, the land species also couldn't adapt to a more temperate climate, and the plants died off. Many species could not evolve, and time went on extinct, beginning the Permian period.